Here we have a little bit more logic. We have a conditional statement. And then we want to say if then statements that allow this to always be true. But we want to say if then statements that are converse, inverse, and contrapositive to this conditional statement. The conditional statement says we have some condition. And then this is the statement here. So we have the condition that if you eat a whole pint of ice cream, then this statement is true. Then you won't be hungry. If you eat a whole pint of ice cream, then you won't be hungry. So the converse of that is when the statement is the conditional, and then the conditional part then becomes the statement. So the converse of that is just if you aren't hungry, then you have eaten a whole pint of ice cream. The inverse of that is when both the conditional and the statement are inverse. So this is still true, the inverse is, but we have two negations. So the inverse of that is just if you have not eaten a whole pint of ice cream, then you are hungry. So this has become negated, and this has become negated. Finally, the contrapositive is sort of like the converse and the inverse. Again, this is still going to have to be true, but it's inverse and it's the converse of this. So the contrapositive is saying, if you are hungry, then you have not eaten a whole pint of ice cream.